Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and these are going to be our 2020 year overview videos. These are extremely important because we are coming into an era that some people are coining the golden era, you know, a quest towards the golden consciousness, all of those things. So we're going to see a lot of density blowing out of our lives, out of our world, and it might throw you off a little bit. So I wanted to do these videos so that you could be prepared <laughs> and you could have your energy set so that, you know, as things start to unfold, you can go with the flow, you can observe without investing and you'll be okay. All right. These are not scary times. These are not, this is not a threat. These are not videos to be like danger, 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 watch out. No, 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 no. It's not about that. It's about being in your awareness. So through these videos, it's my hope and my intention that this gives you uh, some bit of good information, something that will help you per sign. <laughs> and that's just to divvy up the audience. That way I can focus in on different energetic groups and, you know, make sure you're watching for your sun, your moon, your rising. You might want to watch for your Venus sign, you know, whatever works for you. But hopefully the information that comes through is exactly what you need to hear throughout the year to help you remain centered and be able to roll with whatever's coming right? <laughs> so if you would like to get a personal reading with me, you can just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I will leave information in the description box below on courses. I may be putting out some courses having to do with getting prepared for 2020 and lots of other things. There's tons, there's a huge library of stuff there. So go check that out. And of course, if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I'll leave all that information down below as well. If you want to just support me by subscribing and hitting that like, that's awesome too. So let's get into it. Hi there, Gemini. Let's see what's going on for you for 2012. But first, let's talk about how to listen to this message. This is not about your surface level life. We are not looking at shallow things. We're looking at the deeper uh, soul level consciousness. All right. So as you're listening to this, listen from that perspective. If you have not seen my video that I put out on 2020, I will link it here. Please make sure that you go and check it out. It is sort of the basis of these readings. So let's get the cards. Let's see what you have going on. All right, that feels good right there. Let's see what you have. We have Sophia. Ooh, there's some wisdom and divine feminine understanding going on there. The secret, but we're gonna get into that. You're gonna figure out the secret of yourself. That's not what you think. Purgatory, so some of you might get stuck up in your intellect. Some of you are going to be resisting these, this growth, these changes, you might think, I know it all. I've got it all figured out. I don't need nothing, no how, <laughs> whatever. And then boom, your revelation comes. So for you guys, it feels like this process over 2020, uh, for some of you out there, I don't know, it might be a little bit of a jarring experience to get you to wake up because you think, oh no, I'm, what it is, is it's like you guys are still living kind of like how you were, but you're putting in a little bit of spirituality into it. And so you think you've made it. You think you've got it all worked out and then boom, uh, something comes. And it's not like, it doesn't have to be something in the external. It doesn't have to be getting kicked out of your job necessarily. For some of you that might happen, but it doesn't have to happen that way. This can be an internal revelation Oh, uh, uh, that's what that means. A sudden clicking. Okay. Like a sudden, like, ah, uh, got it. Right. So we have the Sophia card. There is that. Again, there's been a lot of messages across all signs about the divine feminine energy coming back in and balancing out the masculine and a lot of wisdom and focusing, <sighs> focusing on the blessing of wisdom. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people interpret that through certain traditions. Nothing wrong with that, I suppose. However, you're going to start realizing that the one tradition or the few traditions that you studied, you looked into, that was only a tiny granule <laughs> of the wisdom that is on offer. Yes. So there's this whole opening here where you start revealing. And that is where the secret card comes in. 
there is a bit of a danger here for some of you letting your egos get involved and being like, ah, I, I broke the code. I understand the secret. I understand the secret of life. I understand all this stuff. I can't tell you how many times I get comments from somebody who, because they study uh, Gnosticism or Hermeticism or something like that, they'll come forward and be like, you just don't understand the wisdoms like this. Here's the secret, you know, and it's used in an egotistical way to put themselves over another. And sometimes this is the only motivation for people to get out there and study things, which is a little crazy. But uh, <laughs> the secret here is that there has never been any secret. Um, it's been there all along. All the wisdom, all the teachings uh, have been all kind of talking about and leading to this moment. And so this thing that you, if you're tempted to use it in an egotistical way, try to be aware of that and bring yourself back to center, okay? Um, people who intellectually know a lot about Sophia, for example. I, I had somebody who tried to have a debate with me about Sophia and she was coming and saying, I'm very enlightened, I'm very ascended. If that were the case, you would not have come in here trying to diminish me and, you know, doubt what I'm saying and you wouldn't have tried to come in in this sort of aggravated energy, right? And that's not to say that um, when, when you're spiritually awakened that you never have human emotions, of course you will, but you'll approach everything with love, right? And fairness. And you'll come to the table with your perspective, but be open to what somebody else has to say. That's not what this person did. Okay. So if any of you out there are doing something along those lines, you're going to get called out. Your group is going to fall apart. <laughs> I mean, it might take until 2021 for some of you, but you know, you're going to end up getting yourself stuck right there. That purgatory. Actually, I'm covering the word purgatory. So here we go. <laughs> there is that. And really, it's not a bad place to be in because you can see there's this burst of light. There's this burst of understanding. For some of you, you know, you might have always taken that kind of approach with your spirituality and with your wisdom. And now you're feeling a, a relief like, oh, I don't have to be an expert in every kind of religious tradition that's out there, right? I don't have to catch up to everybody else because the knowledge has always been there within me for you guys don't play know-it-all okay don't do that and be careful with how you run your mouths okay <laughs> no it just that's not how they're saying it but that's just how i'm saying it. what i'm saying is, is like you know you you are very intellectual okay and i think you like maybe sharing your knowledge there's a feeling here that you want to share with people but you got to clean off your own back porch before you complain about a neighbor's right? So that I feel like that could be a theme throughout this year. Like you have something that you realize or something that you learn and you want to share, but the way you're sharing it is I can teach you how to, I'm going to show you how it's done or pretending like you have all the secrets, right? Trying to be intentionally mysterious, which is as soon as somebody's doing that and they're, they're just doing it on purpose to get my attention. I unclick from that, I back away from that, I remove myself, it's not interesting, it's not fun. All right, then finally we have revelation here. Now this is that part where, you know, just when you think you have gotten a hold of everything, you think you've gotten to know everything, boom, it moves, shakes up, twists around, goes away, right? Now, what I'm saying is, is that's an internal process. It doesn't have to be something outside of you going away, it might be if that's right for you. But rest assured that whatever does happen over the course of this year, it is in exact alignment with what needs to happen for you. All right, so your big lesson this year is to connect into that heart space and have a free flow between the mind and the heart. This is what everyone is trying to do. But for some of you, you have even more resistance to it because you have put so much emphasis on the importance of the intellect that you have come from the intellect on everything. All right, including your spirituality. And what good does a lot of knowledge and wisdom do you if you're not implementing it? Yes. So that's part of your revelation, that internal shift of, okay, I can sit here and talk a good game. I can sit here and, you know, regurgitate everything that I've read from spiritual texts, but am I implementing that in my energy? Not actively in my life. The shift in my energy my internal process, how is that different, okay? So that is that big revelation 
And yes, it could be some secret that, or what you would perceive as a secret about yourself that you suddenly come to have a revelation about, yes? Um, now, don't be impulsive. There is a message here to not be impulsive, to not run away with it, but rather let it settle. Integration, integration is what you're working towards here. All right, so let me get you guys a color card here. I heard stubborn. So some of you might be a little stubborn about what you're learning because you, again, because you put so much importance and emphasis on the intellect, you know, you might, when you're challenged, when um, people might have a little more information than you, you see it as competition, right? Some of you out there. So be careful with that. That's a very, a very, very strong message coming through for you. So for you guys, we have apricot, rejoice and laugh. The number is 20. Hey, 2020. And here we are with 20. <laughs> so rejoice and laugh talks about lighten up a little bit here. Okay. Not everything has to be doom and gloom. Not everything has to be uh, forced or pushed. As a matter of fact, this is going to be the place where things can start flowing from you. If you do not give yourself a chance to rejoice and laugh, to enjoy your life, you're not creating from the heart space, you're creating from the intellect, okay? And really what's gonna happen is you're just going to engage in a lot of arguments, it's going to be a lot of uh, push-pull with people, and you're not going to be connecting in the way that truly is beneficial for you over the course of this year. So yeah, think about heart connections. Thinking about, think about giving people a chance to offer their perspective and how that perspective could be a contribution to the whole, right? As opposed to that's something I have to debate or that's something I have to negate. Um, I have to shut this person down. Uh, you don't know as much about spirituality as I do. Hmm. Let's not engage in that, okay? That's not gonna do anything for anybody. Remember to be in your heart. All right, guys? So I'm gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.